Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Okay, come on, my, my Warlock deck, pretty much all this stuff in here is fairly solid. My opponents keep getting, like, a better start than me, they get and maintain momentum, and I can just never keep up. I don't know why it's happening. Like, I really fundamentally don't understand it, other than I know that, like, really good 3- and 4-cost creatures tend to win the day, and I have a lot of strong 2-cost creatures that don't have a theme to them or anything. They just lose out to the stuff that my opponent's been playing. Gul'dan versus Uther. Oh joy, a paladin. They're I never overpowered. Fight with honor. Your soul shall be mine. I get the coin this time. I had the coin one of those other times and still lost. You're bad and weak, but I'm thinking I might have to keep you. Because it could get worse. Also, I keep getting Big Game Hunter in my starting hand, and he's too fragile. He's supposed to be there late game to kill something that's like Blessing of Kings or whatever. I mean, he can be played, but all the situations where I have him, he's just going to like trade badly. Well, at least I can put something out. Yay! I guess I could coin out the Big Game Hunter next turn, and he'd become, uh, if she's not dead, he'd become a 4-3. That's not as bad, actually. But I'm probably going to want to kill that. Actually, I don't have a good way to kill that. He's just going to trade for her. Unless I coin Drain Life him, which seems ridiculous. You know what? I am going to do that. I'm going to... Big Game Hunter, he's too early in the game. He's gonna, he'd, he'd be sitting in my hand as a dead card for, like, ever. So, no, I'm just going to take the 4-3. Doesn't work out that badly. It's too soon to hammer him. Let the pain speak to me. Oh, that's no good. That could be handy. Yeah. No, I think I'm going to have to actually kill him instead of hitting for four, which really sucks, but it's going to go worse for me if I don't. Gotcha. So, you got a silver, true silver champion, I'm guessing. True silver champion, kill him, or... He's in just the right place. He's taking exactly two damage, so he has room to get healed for two first before taking the four. Mm. That was an automatic response. It just reminded me that he needed to be squelched. Um, okay, making weenies is fine. I'm okay with that. Now, I could play the summoning portal... But I wouldn't be able to use it right away. But Defender of Argus, then I've got a 5-3 and a 2-5. Which is pretty sweet. So many possible. I mean, he can already kill that, and it's trivial. You know, or he can go that way, and I can go that way. But I'm thinking I want to actually drain life this guy and keep those hit points on him. Is it the right thing to do? I have no idea. This is the turn when I can afford to spend four mana on something, though. Maybe I should do it the other way. You know what? I might leave the 1-1 alive, even though it could get buffed and become a problem. But I'm thinking I should be able to handle it, like finish it off with something. So many I'm thinking if I do this... Then I take care of that... And then the risk of leaving a 1-1 seems worth it to hit my opponent for 5. Because he Blessing of Kings this, that takes 4 of his 5 mana, so it's not a perfect use of the turn. He could trade for this, or he could kill this guy, and then I could finish him off with something. True Silver Champion is annoying, but I've, I've got a decent amount of stuff out here. It's actually not the worst right now. Okay. 
You're gonna leave the big one alive? Wow, you, you should have done, you should have killed him. I, that is what I think you should have done. I could be wrong. I can't play anything with the summoning portal right now, so I'm going to hang on to it for a bit. But I can play this guy as a 6-6, six, six, which is pretty decent. The frost stand right up gotcha. That is a ton of damage. If I lose this game, I'm going to be ticked oh. off. That's a good combo, but it's not helping you as much right this minute. You are still in dire straits. Mind if I roll need? I'll probably kill that by playing the Dark Iron Dwarf and boosting this guy, because he's the most expendable. Or I might just have lethal if, if my opponent doesn't do enough. I was kind of expecting the equality, so that hurts, but you actually just don't have enough damage sources. I'm still going to get to do stuff. You still take five, like three for that, effectively. That's not the worst, really. Now I can drain life this. Okay, first do I have lethal? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I really can't do it. This is also nine, ten. It would leave me with more mana, but I'm not going to get anything that helps me. So I think what we're going to want to do is play the summoning portal. Uh, that doesn't help me do this, though. Man, it's annoying. I do want to drain life her. That seems like the best thing. And then trade that, and then I still have my 6-1. I wonder. So, I guess we're going to draw a card from this. Power overwhelming. Do I have lethal now? I'd be using this instead of the dark iron. It was 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, yeah, okay. Well, that was easy. I get a fast start, and my opponent gets a slow start. That makes a big difference. Two and two, so I can no longer have, like, an atrocious arena run. W one and three is pretty bad. Two and three, again, like, half of the people who play in the arena probably at two, three. Like, half of the runs probably come out two, three or so. Maybe more. More souls shall be mine! Mages are bad. I don't like this start in any way, shape, or form. This is my cheaper thing, but I mean it just gets killed. I'm going to pitch both of those. There's not going to be anything alive for the Defender Vargas. He can just come out and kill something, but the Owl could not. Okay, those... Wow, I lucked out and got much better cards for starting against a mage. Are they going to actually help? I doubt it, but this is definitely... A much, much better starting hand, and I'm so glad I mulliganed those cards. With the miracle of hindsight. That's the thing, though. Like, the owl... Whatever annoying things she plays, like the early game stuff would be bad. The 3-2 uh, the gnome, or the, or the eel. Silencing them is great and all, but the owl would still lose, and it wouldn't be neutralizing them. It would just be making them less bad for me. So it really wouldn't work out to be worthwhile. And, like I said, the Defender of Argus has to have stuff to buff, and he wouldn't against a, against a mage, especially with the hand I had. Mind if I roll need? <sighs> That's really not helpful, though. So that guy trades for this. I'm going to play it anyway, because I don't want to get behind in the board control stuff. He has at least he has two hit points, so she can either trade her guy or use a spell, but she can't just like champion ability him. Yeah. That's probably not good because that can fight off my harvest golem. Okay, so 
I guess I'm going to have to Wolf Rider it. I'm not sure this tit for tat game is going to work out in my favor, especially since one of hers drew her a card. At least her coin is out of the way. Oh boy. Hmm. Almost forgot. Silly me concentrating on ridiculous things like the game instead of squelching. I get my priorities straight. Okay, so he's only a 2 1, I like that. I can potentially deal with a 2 1. None of these are great things. Like, it just, my mana doesn't work out. That's what annoys me. I could play this and draw a card, but this is the one thing in my hand he can actually beat, so that's no good. I think I'm going to... Either one of these guys is okay, given that I have this. I'm going to maybe play him, because he's the one that's going to be hardest to get rid of with just a spell. Like, it should take a spell and him or something. Plus, he's got a lot of toughness, so I can, if I give him a uh, taunt, that'll be pretty decent. Although, I don't think he's going to live that long, because next turn I'm probably going Fairy Harvest Golem. Ugh. It's no good. Silence him first? I don't think so. I don't think that really helps. Mm. Excuse me. Vaporization commencing. I think that's the best I can do. Cone of Cold would be pretty unfriendly, but this guy's going to do unfriendly things to them anyway. They can't survive much of him. Yeah. What to do? Clearing him out seems like the thing to do if you have AoEs. Like, hitting him and then Cone of Cold would be pretty darn good. Although possibly excessive, my forces aren't actually that great, but still. Because then he'd be completely gone, and these wouldn't be attacking, and this would be fire blastable. Wow, that's a lot of guy. Okay, interesting. Really? That's what you, that's what you chose to attack? I don't understand. You are so worried about spell damage. Holy crap. Alright, so let's see. Alright, if I play him in between them, I get a 3-4 and a 4-3. Which, neither of which can quite take that out. This is a 2-1. If I boosted it and this, 4-3 and a 3-2. So 3 and 2. So three and two would take that out, and then I could attack for four. I wonder. Three and two, take it out. Yeah, it doesn't make too much difference either way how I do that, because I'm gonna lose whatever I put taunt on anyway. I think I'm gonna do it like this. My seal for Argus. I'm not exactly winning the war here. I have fewer cards, and my forces are going to get annihilated. Like, just this guy pretty much takes out all my forces, but... It could be worse, I guess. Truth is my shield. Uh, 
Well, there's someone to silence. She can silence her, and then I can boost some more guys. I think we're going to do that. Now, how do I want to boost them? I want to get him, make him a 3 4. And. I guess boost the one of these that's not going to trade for that, so yeah. Although, I wouldn't have to trade for that if I actually just demon fired it. And so then hit for four. Possibilities. So risky though, mage could like flame strike next turn. In which case, all my stuff's going to die anyway, but I'd like to have taken something out. That'd be three, two, and four, three. And a three four. They would both die taking her out, but it could be done. Yeah, it just doesn't work out very well no matter what I do. My shield for flame strike would be worth it. It would not be the greatest flame strike in history, but it would kill all my forces and leave her with a 4-5, so it would be well worth doing. That would be mostly screwed. She's got five cards. Yeah. I'm surprised it looked like you were thinking so much about that. Really? I don't even have enough mana to kill this thing. That's using my entire hand. Oh, whatever, I'll get the hit points. Do I want to use another one on her and just give away how damaged she is? If I draw something expensive next turn, I want to be able to do it, though. Oh, reducing a creature that low is pretty bad. Watch her, watch her have one of the heal three guys. I'm still getting my butt kicked either way. That's not good. Hooray! Could be worse. I guess I should draw a card first, because I'm going to have to. This is only 5 mana. Probably save that, although I might need it. I better save this. My best hope is if I draw a big fatty, like if I draw a Boulder Fist Ogre next turn and then Sun Fury it. I could play her and she sort of wins against this, or it would go like kill her and then fireball, but I'm gonna die if that happens anyway. Like I'm like I'm not gonna win. So I might as well take the Go for the Hail Mary play, but yeah, uh, I pretty much lost it. You know, that's pretty much my Hail Mary play. It's just not going to work. Too much stuff. You can kill him with whatever, take your choice. Boom, boom. So, yeah. Go losing a reader run. Ooh, even more losing now. I thought that deck was okay, but it was obviously not tuned quite right. Two wins. Two. At least when you get about four wins, you get usually you get the fifty gold back. So, oh, I got fifty gold anyway. I got lucky. So that pretty much pays for my run. I'm gonna have to do some quests before I can go again. What do I get for my illustrious proceedings? I actually only had one bite, so I guess that's useful. Did I have two siphon souls? I don't know, but I do now. All right, well. 
That was a short run. Let's see if we can do better next time. Please click the like button before it clicks you.